connection that this team has? Um, we low-key hate each other, but we like each other. <laughs> it's uh, We always joke on each other. Um, we always find something to make fun of the other person. And so uh, somehow that turns into great team chemistry. So, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's our makeup right now. Spectacular. So that's the dry sense of humor of Jalen Brunson after tonight's victory over the Milwaukee Bucks. 122 to 109 was the final, but Jalen Brunson did it again. I mean, it's unbelievable. He had yet another Jalen Brunson game, 43 points in this one. I, I'm putting this picture up right now of Doc Rivers. <laughs> yeah, if there has ever been a coach in the National Basketball Association that was a commentator at one point, got a phone call from an NBA team and regrets actually accepting it, it must be Doc Rivers. All right. On tonight's uh, underrated NBA show, we are going to discuss Jalen Brunson. Now, on our big underrated media website um, earlier in the day, we put up an article which states Jalen Brunson expected to turn down Nick's contract extension. And we get into the details of why. That is uh, the topic on the underrated NBA show tonight. Now, the New York Knicks um, are currently, if you were to pull up the standings in fourth place at this point, uh, the Milwaukee Bucks are, if you will, a total and utter train wreck in the NBA right now. And it's safe to say, while the Knicks have moved to with just in one game of second in the Western Con in the Eastern Conference, excuse me, it's entirely plausible that the New York Knicks will actually end up, if you will, with the second spot in the Eastern Conference. Who had that on their bingo card at the start of the season? Who had that on their bingo card halfway through the season when it was clear that that Randall was going down? Look, at the end of the day, this New York Knicks team as a whole has been playing extraordinarily well. We played that video of Jalen Brunson, and that's sort of that Villanova connection that Josh Hart and Dante DiVincenzo have uh, they love to make fun of each other, which I think is a good thing, as um, Jalen Brunson pointed out from a chemistry perspective. Now, what should Jalen Brunson do? So in the summer, this particular summer after the NBA season's over, he will be eligible for a new contract extension. That contract extension is actually worth just over $156 million. Now, he could choose to wait a year, and in 2025, he'll be able to sign... Okay, now wait for this. He'll be able to sign a $270 million contract extension. You know, as far as I'm concerned, the ship has absolutely sailed on whether or not Jalen Brunson is actually going to sign a contract extension during this particular offseason. I think... It is ridiculous to think that a guy that was playing for the Dallas Mavericks was offered a significant contract to stay with the Dallas Mavericks well above uh, what anybody thought he should get paid and bet on himself, ended up uh, with the New York Knicks getting more money. And if you remember back to that New York Knicks contract when it was signed, there were a lot of people across uh, the media and a lot of fans who were like, could not believe they gave that much money to Jalen Brunson. Now we are sitting here uh, literally less than two years after that contract went through, and we're talking about Jalen Brunson actually being worth a $270 million contract. Brunson has been absolutely playing phenomenal this season. Now Brunson's 27 years old at this point, this season, he's averaging over 28 points, 6.7 assists per game, and he's playing a significant amount of minutes. He's playing 35, oh, just over 35 minutes a game. So put yourself in Jalen Brunson's shoes. Do you bet on yourself 
that you're going to be able to make it through next season with a similar style performance that you had this season and you'll garner and get and score that $270 million contract? Or do you play it safe this offseason and take the contract extension at $156 million? Look, at the end of the day, I think this is an easy one. If I were Jalen Brunson, I would once again bet on myself. All right, uh, North America, it's a short show tonight, but uh, I, I did want to make sure we got in a show on our Sunday spot, as we usually do. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't checked out our website, you've got to go check this out. Uh, underrated.media. Sign up for our newsletter when you have a chance as well. It's called The Insider I know it's not a terribly original name. Hey, if you can come up with a better name for our newsletter, uh, just go ahead and drop it in the comments. Anyways, for the underrated NBA show, I'm Dave Dubois wishing you all a tremendous rest of your sports viewing day. <laughs> and, and to the guitar riffs we go. Yeah.